morning, everyone, and welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we continue to pray and worship our Lord in spirit and in truth, and in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask God for his most gracious and abundant mercy. Sent to heal the sorrowful in heart, the Lord have mercy. Lord, have Came to give hope to sinners in darkness, Christ have mercy. Christ. And you pray for eternal redemption, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you and graciously hear our plea. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing. Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you to be our resolve and our redeeds. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me, for I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband and present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if someone comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way, we have made this plain to you in all things. Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge? I plundered other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And when I was with you and in need, I did not burden anyone for the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. By the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine shall not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Majesty and glory are his work and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. So, Lord, are justice and truth. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble on like the pagans who think they will be heard because of the many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, of course, we have the, the great prayer, the Lord's Prayer. And when we pray this prayer, as we do at every Mass, we realize that we are not praying to Jesus, we are praying to our Heavenly Father. And this is Jesus' personal prayer that he taught his disciples and you and I, so that we may include this in our worship of the Father. So when we pray, we pray to our Father, not my Father, but our Father, the community of his faithful disciples, our Father who art in heaven. And that his name, our Father's name in heaven, be hallowed, and that our Father's kingdom will come and be done. And we ask our Father for the bread we need to eat each day, we ask our Father to forgive us our trespasses as we forgive others. We ask our Fathers to lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. Our Father, we the community of the faithful, this is Jesus' prayer. When we pray this prayer at the Mass, as we will in a few moments before receiving Holy Communion, it is Jesus who is praying this prayer. And it is you and I, who are praying in, with, and through Jesus to our Heavenly Father. And when we offer up the bread and wine and hold up the elements before us, it's to the Father, that through Him, with Him, and in Him, all things are glorified. And He is glorified. So today then, let us pray to our Father as we ask for those many needs that we just did in that beautiful prayer, that these needs will be help us to realize who we are as a family of faith, bound by the Holy Spirit, taught by the Lord Jesus, and led on to eternal life by our Father who art in heaven, and to do what is necessary to continue to build up his kingdom here on earth and in our hearts so that one day we can join him in that heavenly kingdom prepared for those who love him. I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For all church leaders, may they guide the church to increase in love, charity, and faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For strained family relationships, may God bring those hurting comfort and clarity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Thomas McAndrew, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For good weather and successful block party, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother and ask her she 
present these petitions to her divine Son as we pray. Hail Mary. Full of grace, grace. the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed, 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 women. blessed, blessed is, the is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed you, our God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made it will become for us the bread of life. Dear Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer for the divine and work of human hands. May it come our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let us stand and pray that your sacrifice and mine today will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Praise the glory of his name, our good and of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide the world with the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and, and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance that they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us, let, us, excuse me, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, a duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself to be born of the Virgin, and by the passion of the cross he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels and thrones and dominions, the whole host of the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end be all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dew falls today, may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, handed to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you as we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church breath throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted husband, the Blessed Apostles, Martyrs, and Saints, I please you throughout the ages. 
may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And with great reverence, we pray in union with Jesus to our Heavenly Father as we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you this morning. Let us share that peace with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. the Son of our Heavenly Father, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. For I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about the unity in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful day.